Whoa! <laughs> Jesus! Welcome lads and ladies back to my channel. How is everyone doing? If no one been around for a while, that is my intro to YouTube if I do record. Um, if I'm live, then it's a different kettle of fish, but welcome on in. But today we are going to go through the best way to find a ghost, uh, identify the ghost, get the objectives, especially uh, getting the perfect game and essentially leaving. So for most people, they wouldn't be on Nightmare. For new people, there would be anywhere between uh, amateur, intermediate, or professional. Professional being the highest, but once you get to this stage and you want to do the jump to Nightmare, the big leap, because you would need to know the ghosts um, well, or at least improve on knowing the ghosts when you get to the stage. So I'll keep on professional. We're going to go on to a Tanglewood uh, map. I'm going to go and essentially trying to find the ghost as quickly as we can help people out to actually know exactly uh, to find the bone what we need to do for the objectives and also get the ghost and essentially get out so this helps you in any way to for anyone who's new hope this helps and you can leave a like and subscribe and all that good stuff and let's get into this and help you a lot and learn a lot more about this game like let's get into this Right, we are here. What I normally do is to get the normal sorts of things that you probably need. Uh, I think most people back back in the day would pick flashlight, EMF, and camera. But I feel like lately, I think temp is the way to go. And I explain it a little bit because normally with an EMF, you're after movement and stuff like that. That, that could be helpful if you've got a very active ghost, but... At the moment, I, I don't have active ghosts as much. So at least when I do get uh, an EMF, I'm, I'm like, oh, it's doing it kind of in between. Let's see if we can see which side it is through breath. And most likely, temp is the thing that helps out a lot. So let me get that. Uh, first thing you will need to do is grab your equipment, which I've, I've just said. So get uh, your thermometer, camera, and light if you're playing by yourself of course uh obviously at some point some people would get that and other things too as well right uh, we're gonna go in and find this ghost if anyone wants to know how i did that by the way without the, the flashlight being out uh it's pressing t by the way t is uh where you can turn your flashlight on and off All right i think i already heard a throw but normally I get the lights on around it so I can see. Uh, but we need to get power first. And there's the bone straight away. So sometimes you get a bone like very, very easily and quickly. Um, but sometimes it might take you a while to have a look around and to find it on the floor or on something, you know. So, um, yes. So power is normally, can be in the garage or garage, however you want to pronounce it. Or basement. So... We are going to check that, and it is in fact in basement. We're going to turn that light on, and we do in fact have the Ouija board, which is one of my favorite cursed ob objects. Take a picture of that as well. Um, right, so now we're going to check around individually in rooms, see where this ghost is. So, for the most part, it's going to be around 10 for an average temperature of a room. If it's snowing, it'd be different. It'd be a bit lower, about, about six five. And if you want the ghost room, it's in like the three twos. Uh, but as this is, we're doing an average temp. Ten is an average room temp. So we can have a look until we find uh, a decrease in the temperature from ten to about I don't know six five. Something like that. So we got an eight seven four. There we go. There's the there's the decrease. So the ghost is probably in here. But just to double check, and you can tell that as well because when you get closer to the ghost room, you would also have it being cold in another room. Um, a little bit before then you getting into another room. So see, I saw my breath. So that means it is in here. But as you can tell, like mostly everything else was ten. And this this is also cold, so you might get com you might have in um, times where you're just like, oh, this is lower than what you said. But you might have to have a look around to see if there's a lower spot 
just in case because it, it's closer to that room so that's why it's a bit colder than normal oh hello um so we're gonna drop that take a picture of that and just throw it so that's an interaction and it threw the teddy bear too oh i think i could know what this is uh, if anyone is uh got the boards up as well there's an easy way of getting email five as well uh so normally for events you would see a four and that would identify that it's an event but if you're not in the room or in the house should i say and you don't get an event or anything like that and you make sure your teammates like oh was there an event and he's like no and it hits like four or five on the board so if it hits or to four or five on this board without it doing an event or anything like that uh it's most likely going to be email five uh that's to help you out if anyone needs help with that another way of clarifying email five without and i know sometimes email five can be a pain to uh to get so that's a helpful reminder for anyone who still has the uh the board for help there once you get into nightmare you do not have that board anymore and you don't have that help so we are checking for fingerprints or uv evidence and we got spirit box straight away if anyone wants to know this as well you go over to your uh your voice mode normally it's on vosk so you talk normally but if you don't want to uh talk uh text is the best way forth so you can get that you can get that straight away without it having complications with your voice and accent or whatever um so it has been throwing a little bit let's get some more stuff so let's mark down what we've got there yeah still a lot but no no emfs being there so let's get our book and the rest of the stuff that we need now we just need to double check if i am correct with my assumption i am not so we got orbs so in fact we do in fact have orby orbs oh and i did not place that well um okay so with spirit box and orbs it can be these three but also still a mimic because mimics um have an extra evidence being orbs so you do still need to check for mimic now don't get mimics people you don't want to want to get mimics so let's place our dots in a good spot for the camera and stop i'm so glad they added that that's uh, one of the things i'm so gr grateful they've added through this update i don't think it can be fingerprints anymore can it no so i'm not seeing any fingerprints and that's a another way of knowing if it's not a mimic so if we're not getting fingerprints with these lot um it can't be a mimic it, it won't be a mimic uh, unless it's mimicking on the back here that's not leaving fingerprints which would highly unlikely be but it can happen um for now we will kick that off and go okay it's not a mimic uh, so we are looking for book writing, uh, freezing, and dots. So we don't need EMF for that. So let's have a look if freezing is... Okay, so if anyone's uh, messed around with the hemp at all, you'll know that it. if it's not going to be freezing, it will hover around 1.0 upwards and it will not plummet down. So as soon as it hits zero point something, we know for a fact that this, in fact, is freezing. Zero point anything is a form of it. Oh, it's going low enough down. It's going to be freezing. And we're about to see that in just a second. See, minus, there you go. So, so we don't need to put book down anymore because it's freezing and it's an on -rio. Now, if no one knows the on -rio correctly, I... Depending on how this game is working, because there, there is time to time there's issues with trying to get certain ghosts or thinking it's not that because it's not acting right. So we we need to be careful of that. So we are going to test for the Onryo. Now, if no one knows his special ability and stuff, Onryos do not like lights. But candle lights, like a flame. <clears throat> so I'm going to put this down. But when you do this, just to remind you, this will get the ghost to hunt so if you don't want to do this um you don't have to but this is to help people to get that bracket of going from professional blah, 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 professional to nightmare so this is one way to know if it's an onrio onrios uh, love to blow out candles or they hate the flame so they'll blow them out and it if it blows out three of them so if it blows all these three out 
it will then hunt. So there's two. There's three. And there's a hunt. So that's an easier way of knowing if we do have not real ghost. Um, because of obviously it's blowing out the candles and then hunting. Great as it blew out three. So, but don't get confused with it blowing out three and then hunting when it's like further away. If it's further away and it blows out a candle, I don't think it would be one, if that makes sense, because it needs to be in the room for the, the blow out the candle. This is why you have to have the crucifix in there just in case. Um, but you can get tricked with it blowing out candles and being uh, a different ghost or even being it, but being like hard to know because it blew out the candles, but then it didn't hunt. Or it didn't blow all the candles out. But it also, like, hunted from a different area. Kind of thing, like, away from the candles. So, you have to be careful with the room you're in and stuff like that as well for an Onryo. So, we have the ghost. We know it's an Onryo. Now we need the pictures, of course. Uh, objectives say as well. Repel, Crucifix, and Paramike. So... We are going to get pictures, so obviously we just got that interaction, so we should be able to get that interaction. Perfect. Don't know what you threw there, but that is fine. We still get that. So the best, I, th I think the best thing to get is probably uh, salt. Um, we could light some candles, but as it's an Onryo, I don't really want it to hunt again. So let's not uh, do that. So crucifix could help for that as well. We could literally just get um, some salt. And get the rest of the photos and not care too much. Through this update, they have changed now. If you get ghost photo on here, you will have to, in fact, get it in the book as well. So before the update, it was like, oh, you can just take a photo of the ghost and just get it and then you can leave. They don't have to worry about getting it in the book. But now you do have to get it in the book. So if you do have ghost photo, make sure you do get the ghost photo in the book. Um, hopefully as quickly as you can um, and not have that situation where you're like oh no i'm down to the last ones if i mess up i've perfect game's gone kind of thing so just be, just be careful with that and uh you should be good um i'm gonna bring these things in and uh with our sanity as well double check upon your sanity uh if the average is like the go this is normally average is 50 for m most ghosts um so this this ghost won't hunt me just yet but soon it will with that hitting 50, it will hunt. So just be careful with your sanity as well. Certain ghosts do like to... Um, not all, Obviously, not all ghosts have the same sanity hunt time. So you have to be careful with that as well. So Demon, uh, Raiju, uh, Thais can possibly... Um, and special abilities like... Um, oh, an airball. Um, so that would, in case... Of the ghost wanting to hunt me. That evil, I think enough sanity drained out of me for this ghost to then hunt. So it should hunt within on being under 50. Uh, but as it's an Onryo, we could light candles. Just stop it from hunting. Unless it's somewhere else. Unless it's somewhere else. It's what I mean by this. It's, it's, it's very hard to... Uh, get a ghost to stay still nowadays it really is uh, I'm a professional and it did an airball where I was and now it's somewhere else so it's definitely moved definitely moved um, now we just need to double check on if that was a roam or if that's actually a moving if that ghost is actually moved um, and I've put all the salt in there too so that's a pretty annoying so it does seem like it's more in the hallway now as it's touching the uh the doors here so let me get um the crucy and uh some candles in there to stop it i am going to leave that there so i probably need a smudge to get the ghost to come over here and step in his salt now which is annoying wait is it more in the uh, living room now is that what I'm getting at? Yeah, I'm attempting to double check again. But it's still cold. So it's doing that shift where it's 
it'll be hovering around it, but it might be just like hallway. So we are definitely going to be careful of how this ghost is acting right now. Just see where it is. Re realistically, seeing an orb would definitely be help. So let me get the camera real quick. And see if the ghost is out of staying nearby. Or is actually in this room now. Okay, so as you can see by the orb, it is now in that room. So for my sake, let's get the crucifix in here. But that's a big shift though. It literally went from being over here to now being in the bedroom. So yeah, just be careful of the shift. That can easily happen. Um and that's one reason you can easily get killed as well. So there's the burnt, burnt crucifix. I need to get a picture of that real quick. Um, I'm going to keep lighting these. As long as the uh, the candle's on constantly, the ghost will not want to hunt. So for an Onryo and you not wanting it to hunt, that is uh, one thing you can do. Right. Okay, so because of the blow, I've got two interactions. Perfect. Um, so yeah, if you, as long as you keep lighting these, you be, should be fine. Um, and I messed up. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I don't know how that works. It blew out too, but, um, you know, that is all fine. That is all fine. But uh, we do need to repel it and get a paramic as well to finish this off. Obviously, we can't always... Uh, get a perfect game you know sometimes that happens uh but uh, yeah let's get a smudge smudge lighter and a paramic so we need another hunt so i'm gonna let the candles do its thing if we can get another hunt or at least leave the the candles being off for it to then hunt or we could do an easy way where we just light one one candle and every time it blows one out we can kind of know where it is with how many candles it need to blow out so it is three it still needs to blow out uh so we're, we're just knowing from how many times it's blew it out as it resets or is it does it need one more to blow out you know so this is what we're waiting for as well so we also need to see if we can get a ghost whisper from the paramic if it could ever do that so it's not from that one and We've got that air ball again. It is throwing a lot. That off. Right. So now we're just waiting, hopefully, for this ghost to uh, give me the last little bit of um, objectives that we need to do. Repel is uh, during a hunt, so that might take people a while to to master, or at least like. Get a little bit comfortable with getting the ghost to hunt and then i think when i started it was more smudge hide so if that's more comfortable towards your side hello she gave me a whisper beautiful uh, at the same time she is over here though which is making me a bit more nervous so i'm gonna have this on me uh because she might have moved again and just because um and because of a, an event, it could, in fact, the ghost could move or hunt on you. But you have to be careful of the um, of that and make sure you have a crucifix underneath you or you're away from the ghost enough to then not have any issues. So that's what you need to do as well. But uh, I'm going to do this. Uh, it should want to hunt. I don't know why it's uh, not. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take my crucifix. I'm going to run away with it. I'm going to get into my spot that I normally go for. Follow with me now, my goodness. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully I'm fine. But, yeah, be careful of uh, events because if a ghost touches you with an event, like hisses or a running event that gets you, um, it will possibly then, like, obviously do a hunt on you, possibly. So, be careful of that, too. Um... Here we go. Here's his old grandma. Hey, grandma. Now you'll get used to like kind of looping 
over time. I do need to repel my master grandma. Come here. Smudge. So most people will just smudge. Maybe hide, get a hiding spot. Um, I'll show you where the hiding spots are. At least be comfortable with smudging. Like, oh, she's going to go towards me. Let me smudge. You've got a little bit of time to then run away. Or she can actually get you and hug you to death. Uh, but that is gone right out of there. So we've got no hiding spot here. You need to be careful. But the ghost has moved into this hallway. Okay. Well, not there then. Um, but yeah, I, I hid here before. But this is a hiding spot here. So there's that. As well as this can be one as well, I think. Um, but yeah, you just have to be careful. Obviously, with smudging it as well, you have a bit of time. Normal ghost. Here's a no normal hiding spot. So you can just hide in here after smudging. Uh, but normal ghosts uh, should hunt after a minute and a half after being smudged. So for certain ghosts like spirit or uh, demon, they would want to... Uh, demons want to hunt a bit earlier, so that'll be a minute. Um, normal ghosts will be a minute and a half, and then uh, spirit would be three minutes uh, within being smudged that it would want to hunt again, um, being that threshold. So let's... Um, Let's get this in. So we have should have everything. Uh, we have the bone. Let's double check. Bone. Ouija board. We messed up on one photo, but we'll ignore that. And then we uh, will get out of here. And uh, yeah, that should be it. So hopefully everyone enjoyed that. Um, if you need any help on certain maps or need help with knowing anything else, just let me know. Uh, but it is an Onrio. Um Unfortunately, we couldn't get that perfect investigation bonus. You know, that would have been nice. But uh, you can't, can't always uh, get it when you uh, mess up. Well, that's how it is. But uh, hopefully this helped. But uh, again, if you need any more help, just let me know. And I uh, hope everyone enjoys the rest of the day. And uh, see everyone in a bit.